Hello there, this is Lance. Um, today I'm just going to do a quick video on copyright issues that people have had. I've had comments uh, from people saying that when they create something with LumaFusion and then they upload it themselves, um, not using the LumaFusion itself to do the upload to YouTube, they're coming up with copyright infringements even though they are paying the monthly fee for Storyblocks uh, music and footage etc on LumaFusion itself. The way it works is if you are uploading it using the LumaFusion client as of I think it was version 2.4.3 LumaFusion itself will actually send a notification to Storyblocks to say this person has uploaded this including this material from your video to this YouTube channel and Storyblocks will then keep an eye out for it and if a copyright infringement gets placed on that video in YouTube, it'll then be resolved automatically within 30 minutes, they say. The only time that this type of thing happens is when you are rendering the movie out on LumaFusion using Storyblocks material, be it music or footage, and then uploading it yourself at a later date or using a different client to upload it. If you do get a copyright infringement then, Normally what you would have to do is go to YouTube, your studio, uh, and go and say, right, fine, I'm actually allowed to use this. I'm a Storyblocks subscriber. Here's the email that I use for my, my Apple subscription, etc. And it'll eventually be resolved. But there is a way to actually do it in LumaFusion itself. So if you are in LumaFusion, and let's say I don't actually have a infringing clip here because uh, uh, I use LumaFusion itself to do the upload but let's say this clip here nice uh, drone shot over a lake is now causing an infringement on my YouTube channel what you can do is you can actually go into the information you'll see with the information here and you'll see there's an expanded information with these little dots on this side here if you click on that and you scroll down you'll eventually see the Storyblocks ID this number over here. If there's an infringement pending on this clip, then what you can do is you'll be able to click on this and then go and submit saying, this is my YouTube channel, this is, this is various information they'll ask for, and it'll submit a form directly to Storyblocks and uh, YouTube, well, I'm not too sure who it goes to, but it does resolve the issue. I unfortunately cannot click through to show you this because as I said I don't have a issue with uh, this particular clip or any clip that I've done recently. But that is where you'll have to go to to actually submit your uh, information so that the claim can be resolved for your channel and you don't get any strikes and etc against your channel. I hope this was useful for you. If it was please like, subscribe, all those lovely things and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye bye.